Hello everybody, it's Simon Hinton here. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my latest recording, Ascension, the challenge, the confusion, the solution. And today it is a very special day for it is the 22nd of July, 2021, which is of course the famous Feast of the Mary Magdalene or Magdalena Day. It also happens to be the birthday of my daughter, my eldest daughter, who's 21 today. So it has a sort of extra special significance for myself. Now, today, I just want to share a little bit about my involvement with the Magdalena energies. And I want to share some insights because I have been working with this wonderful energy for many years now. And that energy really found me um, as the occultist and pra energy practitioner that I am and showed me a lot actually over the years, which has basically been verified by a series of evidence frames that supports the efficacy of my personal connection with the Magdalena energy, a beautiful feminine energy, which is very needed at this time of human history. And I could talk for, to be honest, days and days about it, but I'll kind of keep it simple because I tuned into that energy today and was given certain information and expanded my understandings of, of it, which I wanted to share with you on this special day at another very important precipitous juncture in human history. Okay, first of all, I just want to say a couple of things about the Magdalena energy. I call it the Magdalena energy, which differentiates from the avatars that the Magdalena energy has grounded through through history. So, for example, um, we, there is a very powerful energy that comes through and has come through. And that energy has occasionally found an, a perfect avatar to bring it through in an embodied human form. And I'm of the belief that Mary Magdalene was one of those beings carrying a special aspect of the goddess energy and bringing it through to humanity some 2,000 years ago. I also am of the belief that Lady Nada in Atlantean times was another such being that was able to bring through this unique aspect of the divine feminine. Now we know that when Mary Magdalene incarnated, the main energies were Piscean. It was the Piscean age, which is known for being patriarchal, controlling, reductionist and linear. And it's not surprising, therefore, that the official churches of the day and subsequently, particularly in the third century under the bishops of Nicaea and Emperor Constantine, attempted to subjugate and ridicule uh, and, and lower the vibration of what actually Mary Magdalene did and what her role was in bringing through or helping Yeshua bring in the Christ crystalline consciousness of healing and love. And her popularity in recent years has come, I believe, because the world, the planet, definitely needs a balancing aspect of the Magdalena energy. And because we've moved out of the Piscean Age, the main patriarchal influence, into a new age where neither the matriarch or the patriarch is dominant, but it's an age of integration, of harmonization, of balancing, of restoration. It's also an age where we move beyond the old paradigm, believing that we need a dead or dying God to rescue us into a new age of personal sovereignty. And sovereignty means that we claim our true power. We move beyond collectivism and the imposition and control, whether it's religious control, scientific control, political truck control, family control, ancestral control, into a new type of paradigm where we emerge singularly and individually to formulate and co-create our own reality. And the Magdalena energy helps and enables this process by facilitating an integration between the creative masculine principles, which have been out of control in a bad way, and the beautiful enabling feminine principles, which have also been out of control, bringing the two together in a new kind of harmonization and integration is what, for me, the Rary Magdalene energy in many ways represents. 
And I just want to share a few things on this Feast of the Magdalena with you all tonight, which may be able to be of assistance and use in this, what I feel is a war on this planet. I don't want to be melodramatic. We all want peace and solutions, but there is nonetheless a massive counterforce, I believe and have seen, against the rising personal power of each individual, our personal sovereignty, our abilities to co-create our own reality and move from sickness, sorrow and suffering into great health of mind, of body and spirit. The latter is what I teach. I've been teaching it through the Harmonic Resonance Healing System, through the London Reiki School and other energetic modalities which I show people how to access through the integrated and open heart centre. The heart centre being key for the Magdalena energies. For the heart, when it's fully activated with the high, high heart, becomes actually both a realistic representation and a living metaphor for two key principles. The blue triangle going downwards, representing the Magdalena, and the red of the Christ rising going upwards, creating the Star of David, the red and the blue, and in the middle of that, of course, the violet flame, the seventh ray, overlit by Saint-Germain, is the alchemical child where we become co-creators of our own reality, moving beyond collectivism. Now, today, when I tuned into the Magdalena energy, she was showing me and wanted me really to explain to you all, really, what, in a sense, is the psychological operations that are going on at the moment against our free will, our personal power and our great health and vitality. Just want to speak as somebody, if you've looked on my social media, you will know that I'm somebody who's very proud to say that I have not suffered an airborne disease for over 7,100 days. The last time was in February 2002. I haven't had a cold or flu or any other airborne disease since that time. I simply refuse to get sick. One of the key ways that I refuse to get sick is I resist any kind of collectivism and rapport and any kind of guilt tripping about being really well, really happy, really healthy and stepping outside of the blame that others place upon us collectively or unconsciously, which disempowers us. Let me explain a few things about this. So, for example, with the big V that they're trying to make us have, the jibby-jabby, as I call it, okay, with the big V, the idea is that one suit fits all, okay? So, psychologically, they want everybody to do something um, subject to Big Pharma, because Big Pharma are most definitely behind what is going on. And they want everybody to do something under the auspices that it's going to be good for everybody else. So it doesn't matter whether you might have an autoimmune disorder or be on certain types of antipsychotic medication or other things. You might have tendencies for heart disease. They just want you to have that jibby jabby, okay? Irrespective of your background or history, on the basis, and this is what they're putting out, especially to younger people, that you have to do it to help other people. This is the horrendous collectivism. We're under the auspices of being a good person. We are then averted from our true sovereign nature. Now, when I look at the political systems of the world, I think about communism and the horrors that communism created, with over 100 million people dying at the hands of the do-gooders of the ideological people. And then I think of the horrors of fascism and Nazi Germany, when 25 million people died based on pseudo-ideologies that somehow the state is God. That actually we have to give up our own personal identity in favour of this grand alliance of energy that is for the good of all. Or I think even of socialism, perhaps a watered down version of communism, where we give our power away to big government that then rescues us and tries to flatline us with the curse of egalitarianism. Somehow we should all be equal. Well, I want to share with you a few things. We are not all the same. And we are certainly not all equal. We may be equal in the sense that we are souls. So we have, in a sense, 
uh, a value in our lifespan, but we are not all equal. Einstein was better than Fred West, let me tell you. There have been great people in history and there have been dark, satanic, horrendous people in history. We're just not all the same. Some people are better than other people. Some people are more evolved than other people. That is just the reality. Just like I've been better than I am just like I'm better now than I was when I was younger, so I'm hopefully will be better at another stage in my life. We are not all the same at the same time. The curse of collectivism and egalitarianism imposes upon us an erroneous belief that we have to sacrifice part of our nature, part of our soul, part of our dharma in favour of some collective ideology. And this, my friends, is a psychological operation that has found many forms during history. Let me give you an example. The beautiful Cathars were a group of Gnostics in the 11th and 12th century in the south of France. And this beautiful group of Gnostics had no political ideology. They simply connected to nature, to organic things, and were healers and people that loved and shared love and basically believed that actually you could live a beautiful, simple, healing and happy life on this planet. And yet that simple, natural concept was considered a threat to the horrendous Roman church who enacted a terrible, terrible genocide against these beautiful people and destroyed them. Nazi Germany did the same to the Jews. And historically, we have seen countless, unfortunately, examples of where governments have imposed their will with the jackboot of brutality against our true nature. This is a complete contradistinction to the lovely, wondrous, Magdalena energy. The Magdalena energy is a representation, my friends, of the organic nature of the planet. The planet and our own light body or energy field is actually in a symbiosis. Yes, we know many of the ley lines and, and special energy lines and flows of the planet have been broken. They have been suppressed. They have suffered from cataclysms that has actually dislodged us from our true flowing nature. And yet, in this time of ascension, we have the opportunity to resurrect, to return, to redeem our true power. Psychologically, this is very different from many of the messages that are put out there. So we have at the moment things like the woke culture, the cancel culture, the BLM and other movements that dates basically set us up to be victims. We have Big Pharma coming as, as the great rescuer against a so-called pandemic that has destroyed more lives than the pandemic itself simply by taking our power away. This is so obvious for anyone who looks at what is happening around at the moment. So they cause a problem. They create a psychological dislodging. They control the media and the narrative that's generally out there. And on the back of that psychological gap, that vacuum, they then come riding in with a singular collectivist rescue plan called the Big V. I personally choose not to do that. And I, my children also choose not to do that because I have taught them how to work with energy. I've taught them, like I teach my clients, how to work with great nutrition, positive mindset, and how never to get guilty about any of the stuff that they tell you. So I will go out and do what I want. I will act with total individual nature, sensibly, and with great thinking, but with a mindset that stops me buying into the collective guilt and subjugation that's being pressed upon us. This information and energy aligns fully to the beautiful Magdalena energy that is supportive, that is yin, that connects us to the earth, to nature, and the knowledge, the knowledge that actually, my dear friends, we all of us have the personal power and ability naturally, to heal ourselves. We need a few activations. Yes, that's true. But when we build a narrative with the body, when we connect consciously every day with nature, when we put great things in our body, nutrition, fine nutrition, and we look after ourselves, and we have the right mindset and the right set of beliefs, 
and we, we move beyond the idea that we need to rescue. We have self-belief and we build that belief around the principles that have been demonstrated time and time again from holistic healers. When we do that, we don't get ill. We learn to create a life of great health and abundance, of joy, of happiness. Have you seen, my dear friends, what those masked lemmings are like? Those people who are buying into the mainstream media narrative? I mean, I love them all. You know, I feel for them all, but I can see so clearly the anger that they carry, the sadness, the misery, the dissonance. And then, of course, the guilt-tripping modus operandi that they project outwards to try and get us to feel like we, who are sovereign beings, are somehow in the wrong. Well, my dear friends, if you are on the fence, if you are not sure, connect to the power on this day, the Feast of Magdalena, to the Magdalena energy which repairs and bonds us to the planet. The Magdalena energy is an orange flame. And it's glyphed often as a triangle that is blue and pointing downwards, representing the love that is the perfected balance of the will. If we have nothing but will and no love, then we become cruel and narcissistic. If we have love and no will, we become obsequious and subservient. Both of those polarities are represent lack of balance. And we've seen that in the world and we see that very much in the world at the moment. The Magdalena energy coming back in is a restorative energy that will enable you, my dear friends, just by calling it in, to heal and repair the erroneous concepts and peer pressure that has been pumped out there with unfettered velocity in the last year or so. I just don't buy into it. I'm sorry, guys. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm really not sorry. I don't buy into that madness. I choose not to get ill. I call in the Magdalena energy for all of you, the orange flame goddess, as a representation, a metaphor, if you like, for the power of nature to heal and to help us all move beyond the alternative which is that there somehow has to be an AI, an artificial intelligence transhumanism solution. Dear friends, that's not the answer. All of us are wonderful beings and we contain within us the incredible ability to heal. We don't need to be rescued by a jibby-jabby. We don't need to be rescued by feeling we're part of a collective. We don't need to carry the guilt of actions that others have done against bad actions. We don't need to be feel that we're part of a privileged cult and we should feel guilty for that. I feel privileged every day for being alive. There's nothing wrong with privilege, black, white, yellow, or anything else. It's a wonderful thing to feel privileged and ingratitude. I never feel guilty for being who I am. I never feel guilty for being healthy. I never feel guilty for avoiding the collectivism psyops of big pharma, of governments, who, let's face it, my friends, historically have always let us down. On the whole, they've let us down. They don't know what they're doing, or actually, perhaps they do. Perhaps they do know what they're doing, and it is part of a way to subjugate us. Whatever your feelings about that, I encourage you all to connect with nature, to avoid the jibby-jabby, connect with nature, and connect with your own healing powers. You all, all of us have it. Personally, I used to be activated. Now I self-activate. And I do offer activations for people that want to learn how to never get sick, how to be disease-free, how to be powerful of mind and body and heart and emotion, how to be in their personal true dharma and soul purpose. That's what I share with people. And I'm passionate and I'm excited about that because I see at this time of the Magdalena energy on this Feast of the Magdalena, great awakening happening. Yes, there's loads of people still asleep, but there are so many now awakening. We really have hit that tipping point. And I share with the many thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions around who are being beginning to see the lies for what they are are beginning to see that actually there is an alternative narrative to subjugation, to transhumanism, to the jibby-jabby mindset. And that narrative starts, my dear friends, with you. 
It starts with you opening your heart. It starts with you believing and knowing that there is actually something beyond the 3D mindset of the control, manipulation, subjugation and polarisation that has been the hallmark of humanity for so too far, far too long. There is an alternative. The 5D reality means we can access what we want, when we want it, outside the space-time continuum, that we can transcend the cerebral cortex and its projection and interpretation into a new Gnostic flow. This Gnostic flow will really occur when you call in the power of the beautiful feminine goddess, the Magdalena. My dear friends, let the goddess bless you on this day, wherever you may be. It is a beautiful day in London. It's a beautiful day if you're happy, joyful, awake and dump the guilt. It's not worth it, my dear friends. If you find this video useful, do your best and like and subscribe. If you'd like to learn how to access your power, if you'd like to learn ways to accelerate your personal growth, perhaps you'd like to see me at the London Reiki School where I teach Yasui Reiki to master trainer level, Karuna Reiki, psychic surgery and my own healing system, harmonic resonance healing and the angelic code, all furnished and supported by the Magdalena energies. If you need personal help, maybe you don't have any money, don't worry, just email me, info at simonhinton.com. We have a collective Magdalena group and we do work for people that perhaps are not financially free at the moment. It's okay, we're here to help our brothers and sisters. The key is personal power first. Be selfish. Put yourself first with your health your mindset, your nutrition, and then when you're sorted, you can help others. That's how it works, by radiation, radiating great energy out, and by the power of entrainment. Not rescuing, entrainment. That's the power of soul resonance through the Magdalena. Thank you, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe. And do contact me if you'd like more information. Info at simonhinton.com. Happy Feast of the Magdalena. She loves you, but do you love yourself?